Today we have something very special for you. If you've been looking for a toy hauler and you're thinking the only way to carry that motorcycle or whatever toy you have is with the toy hauler that eats up a third of your rig, well you're going to be surprised by this one, so stay tuned. We're here with Lance and Flo from Wheeling with the Wendy's and they're going to show us the perfect rig for them. All right, so let's talk about what you guys have. It's a 2019 Grand Design Momentum 376 TH, which stands for toy hauler. But as Phil said, it should be TB because everybody calls it a toy box. It's, it's smaller in scale. It's a little unique yep. compared to yep. all the other fifth wheel toy haulers that are out there. Right. And how many rigs have you guys had since you started RVing? Uh, this is our fourth. Four in four years, <laughs> years. I think. Yes. So yeah. it just goes to, in line with what we've been saying. There's no perfect rig out there until you find your fourth one. That's what they're telling us. <laughs> but and we're not getting one, four. Yeah, no. no. The fourth rig for them, This they, they had other rigs that they thought would work for them. And as they bought them and lived in them and grew in them, they realized they needed this, they needed that which eventually ended up into the Grand Design Momentum right here behind us. We had a full-size 40-foot basic toy hauler, which had the huge garage in it, and we thought that was going to be good for us, but once we got on the road, we realized what we really needed was interior living space and enough room for a Harley, not two Harleys. All right, so we're going to specifically talk about some of their favorite things and some of the things they would like to change, and of course, I'll have to tell you what my favorite thing is in the rig. So why don't we get started and go hop on over. So tell me a couple of things that you just love about your Grand Design Momentum. Well, one of the things was we came from a 40 foot uh, conventional toy hauler, fifth wheel, and we had all the solar already on the old one. So I wanted to have something that was big enough to, to still be able to produce what we had before because we do boondock. And this one had plenty of room to take the 10 panels that, that I had and still be able to get around on the roof if I have to work on the AC units or if I want to go up and put our wee boost up and down, I, I don't have to trip over and fall off. So you have 10 panels on this rig. Mm -hmm. All right, that's, that's a really good feature about this, to have the real estate to be able to do that and not handcuff you in, in your ability to, to um, stay out in boondock. Another part of that is all of my solar equipment is all in the, the front basement area. So I have six 100 usable amp hours of Battleborn batteries. I have a Magnum 3000 watt hybrid inverter and a PT100 solar controller. One of the other things that I really liked about this rig when we went to look at it was that everything could be put in this area which is directly opposite the wall of our main breaker panel and lithium batteries need to be climate controlled and that worked out perfect also as well as grand design gives a satellite channel raceway that goes up to the seal to the roof which is right here also and this is what was in there which was too small to to get the wiring that i needed but we used it as a wire chase and and a wire pole so that was that was huge for me. That was one of the things that sold me on it from the get-go. So you pretty much wired everything within five feet of your panel on the inside. If that. This little feature right here, not many people would even think about, but it's already there. It was for a satellite, but yeah, you could use it for anything. Absolutely. All right, so tell me about your toy hauler slash toy box. Well, as you can see, people that know what a, what a normal toy hauler looks like, this door is a lot smaller, and that has to do with our interior layout. Um, one of the great things on this one, as opposed to the way some of the other ones work, is that it's super easy to open this door and lock it. It's got the same lock set as all the rest of the compartment doors Nice. and the front door. Okay. And what I like about it is I can do this all by myself because with the Vengeance, I could not handle and lift and bring the door down by myself. That is nice. All right, Lance, tell me a little bit about Amber's home. Well, Amber has a nice little spot here. My last toy hauler had a very steep ramp angle. This sits much lower and it's super easy to ride it in. Um, one of the things I really liked about it is 
that the floor is insulated in this where most toy haulers don't have insulated floors. And on top of that, it's heated and air conditioned wow. because it's actually part of the living space to the rig. This is actually part of our bed on the inside. If you have a golf cart or a side-by-side, -side, something that's taller, this bed will raise up, I think around a foot or so, but it raises up and goes forward with the push of a button. It's got a hydraulic actuator so that you have a little more headroom. And then once you get to your destination, you pull out your toy and you can bring it back down. For me, I haven't had to do it. I haven't actually raised it one time because I can ride the bike right in and that's all our course So if is. this was, was up in the bedroom, you could still sleep in your bed. You could still get in the bed from the inside. You could, you, you might need a ladder, but you could. <laughs> okay. Feature. One of this the other features of this is that you actually get the sides of the rig where Flo really likes having the outside entertainment center and the outside kitchen and there's storage on this side where normally that's just the outside wall and that's all you got. Yeah. yeah. So. Again, Grand Design nailed it again with, with maximizing all of their space and making it usable. I like that. Saw so you mess with this ladder the other day and I was impressed at how it was, was um, built and how it works. Tell me a little bit about this. Well, it hinges hinges out, hinges forward, pull pins out just to allow it to come out and it pulls down all the way so that you can have room for your feet. I like that it's out of the way, it snugs up to the back of the RV. It's something that you, you won't have to worry about catching and, and yanking off. This here is another great, great design feature. So another uh, feature that I really liked about the outside is that you have a small outdoor kitchen area with a little bit of storage. We have a refrigerator and we also have a stove that's um, operated by propane, correct? It's propane. It also has electrical outlets as well. All right, hang on, we have to test this out because I usually hate kitchens because they're always too high for me. So this one actually is not too bad. I could probably cook here. I don't know so much about the fridge, about reaching, well, I guess I can turn around. But so this one is not as big as most, so it's not too bad. Our previous um, toy hauler, um, we did not have any of the um, outdoor cook um, storage or the entertainment. This is actually a stereo with um, speakers and we also have a TV. And you can watch the game, football, basketball, whatever sport you watch, or YouTube. <laughs> One of the things I really like about your RV is your kitchen. You have so much counter space. I have no room in my RV to prep anything, and your your bar by itself is phenomenal. Yes, that was one of the selling points that when we were looking at this RV and how we were full timers and were both full time remote is that we wanted we cook a lot. I used my Instant Pot. I needed the old um, toy hauler. We had a very small kitchen, no counter space. So right away when I saw this hutch and thought about entertaining people, um, we already had Christmas dinner here mm -hmm. and it worked out fabulous. Um, I just love the counter space and the storage is phenomenal. I mean, we ha have so much storage in this kitchen. I, I still don't have all the um, cabinets filled. All right, so what kind of fridge do you have? Let's start with the fridge. This is a RV refrigerator. It's large. It, it's it's pretty a pretty large. nice size for an RV. Yes. It's an 18 cubic foot. 18, that's a nice so size. So it runs on propane and electric, which is great for us because we, we're boondocking now and we, we'll do a week or two weeks. So this works out really well. And then we have enough room in here to stock up on our meats and freeze them mm -hmm. and prepare for boot docking or when you're going out of town. And I really like too that you have a propane stove top and an oven. They can make cookies. So I have a stove top, oven, and a microwave and a confection. I actually baked Ooh. cookies and can, I did put a ham in here I, for, yeah. for Christmas. They can so. fit a full size chicken, a small turkey. This is a decent size oven for an yes. RV for sure. Yes. All right, talk about storage here. You have two huge cabinets. Let's talk about what you have for your cabinets. Uh, this cabinet is a multi purpose. So you have shelving, but there's also plumbing water hookups for a washer and dryer. So washer and dryer is optional too. And it's big enough it can be stackable so you don't have to have the duo, the combo, Correct. which I Correct. really hate. 
All right, and then your beautiful pantry that holds so much. Let's talk about that. In the cabinet, there are three um, different size um, drawers that come out, or you can put your dishes or spices awesome. or whatever you want. And then the, all the shelves are adjustable, so if you want it one to be taller and one to be skinnier, you can do that. And there is a ton of storage in this kitchen. So you have me beat on that for sure. So um, instant pot, big, you know, if you have big um, sheet pans, well, big enough to fit in the stove sheet pans, you're, you're not gonna have a problem getting them in this kitchen. No, not at all. I love my kitchen. So another bonus for your RV is you actually truly have a living room. So it's not a combo, it's a separate room and you can pack some people in here. Yes, it's another selling part to this, uh, looking at this RV and making the decision to get this RV is that it really, truly feels like home. Old RV, it just, it felt like a camper. Yeah. This truly feels like a home. And these couches are really comfortable. Grand Design definitely thought about comfort, thought about putting more people in here. Now, are either of these couches sleepers? Both of them open up in the queen. And can they be opened at the same time? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So that's four there, and then plus you, so it sleeps six? Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's, that's pretty good. And, they, and these recliners are massagers, heaters, and they have lighting on them. So you guys both work full time, nine to five from the RV. One of the reasons that we really like the Grand Design and Momentum is because it did allow a lot of living space. It also had additional slides. And for us, it gave us the option to be able to turn this one or two of the slides into a workspace. Right. This is an amazing, amazing space. I mean, the view right now, if you are sitting here working, <laughs> is phenomenal. I love it. <laughs> There's also a separate working space up front because um, both of them are, are diligently working from nine to five every day. Since we don't need to seat eight adults most times and we're not going to be sleeping four people up there, one of the sofa beds is going to be pulled out and We'll have the same 180 degree view up there as we do down here. The shower, I really love the shower because I had a hard time finding an RV that would have a place where you could sit to, for women to shave their legs mm -hmm. or if you need to scrub your feet or, and this one had it. So that's one of the selling points as well is that I love the shower setup as well. And that the doors are glass and they're easy to clean with the squeegee. Now remember when you're thinking about this bedroom, we are now standing over the motorcycle. So this part, when you guys saw the toy box, you saw the black part, that's where the actual bed is. So we're standing over that space, but this bedroom still has plenty of space. It doesn't feel squished. No, that's uh, um, the part we liked about the bedroom in the, the old RV. Um, I wish I could have videoed me making the bed. <laughs> it was like an, a whole obstacle retreat. <laughs> I think I might have recorded that. I think one of my videos have that already. Oh my gosh, but this, we both can get on each side yes, of the there's bed. there's a lot of room over there. And here. another part we loved is the fact that we have a window. It has a blind. It just adds a lot of light into this room. The storage, this is all... Um, closets we have drawers we have a tv and that was built in and we have our own air conditioning unit as well there's three air conditioning units oh, in that's this, really cool in this um rv and they're all separately controlled that makes a big difference especially when you're boondocking because you yes. can have one on shut the other ones off close the door you're using less energy whether it's heat or air or whatever so that's pretty important with all the pros that come with having a nice RV, there are also some negatives. So let's talk about a couple of those. Well, yeah, there's no perfect RV out there. One of the things that I don't like is the Lippert One Control System. In order to turn off lights and check things, and you know, if you want to see what your, your tank levels are or whatever, you have to go through this screen. And I, I'm old school. I'd rather just have some switches. I'd rather have some dummy lights to be able to look at and not have to go through this menu just to turn some lights on or off. It's nice to be able to hit all off at the end of the night and all the lights go out at one time. And it's nice to be able to use the app that goes with it to watch a slide from the outside as you're opening it near a tree. But other than that, for day-to-day -day living, I'd like to have all switches for everything in addition to this, because this is a nice unit. It's just 
not conducive to full-time living and turning lights on and off all the so time. So there's something to be said about having an old school switch. Yeah. You know, a light switch or something. And if this panel goes out, there's know, there's some thing. there's some lights that you cannot turn off without the panel. And do you have a panel like this in the bedroom? Could no. you turn the lights off? No, the lights in the bedroom are just on their own. Gotcha. They are not on the panel. Not on this. Okay. All right, along with this, what is something else to just kind of... Um, one of our big ones, because we do go boondocking and, and lot docking, we stay at Walmarts and Cabela's and places like that, is that we wanted to have access to our bedroom and bathroom for overnight stops. And with this rig, we couldn't, and we knew that going into it. However, we found out after the fact that with the opposing slides on the same hydraulic system there is a valve out by the propane tank where you can turn them off individually so if you did want to just open one slide to be able to get up into the bedroom or bathroom you can just open that one slide rather than being forced for the two so that was it was a negative but it was kind of nice to find that out after the fact that we can at least just open one. Now how long did you go before you realized that you could control one or the other? It was a couple weeks I think. We didn't actually have to use it yet but I found out a couple weeks later that that it did do that. And you said you had one more? The only other downside is that this sits much lower outside than our old one did so the clearance on the tail end is much lower and we've actually scraped a couple of times already and it, it, it's nothing other than you know it's a positive and a negative i got the low ramp i like that but in the same time we got a low frame so we're going to scrape a little bit here and there when we when we pull into boondocking spots and go through you know terrain and, we, and you knew that when you purchased this yeah RV. there's no there's no perfect rig out there yeah, there's going to be there's going to be some downs to everything no matter what unless you build it yourself and even then you're probably going to forget something just like building a and, custom home and a, and a potential customer for this type of rig when they're out looking at it they're looking at all the ooh and ah on the room they may overlook that so that's a great point to bring up right. so that somebody researching will know okay i've got to be conscious of that so that's a good point This has been an awesome tour today. We really appreciate you guys letting us come in your home and show everyone what a great RV this is for you guys. Any last words on why this is the perfect RV for you guys? I think for me, it's that most of it's the layout. It just, it feels like home. We've got a living room, we've got a kitchen area, and we've got the bedroom, and we also have two separate workspaces. So, I mean, it's what more we could want from an RV, I don't know. Nice. Yeah, honestly, we have a checklist of what we each wanted and I can say 90% I'm happy. You'll never find a, an RV or rig right. that you're 100% happy right. with. That's right. But we absolutely love this. And we recommend anyone that has a motorcycle or um, golf cart and work remote and all those things that we do. This definitely can accommodate um, that lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. and what's really cool is when you're inside, you would never know it was a toy hauler. No. You would never mm -hmm. know it looks like a regular RV or, to me, it looks the most like a house of, you know, almost any of the RVs we've been in. Yeah, so. absolutely. I, I like the fact that you said that there's no perfect RV out there, yes. but this one is 90% perfect for you. Right. And yes. it fits your lifestyle, it fits your needs, and it gets you out here full-timing and doing what you love to do. That's right. So Just, we're not, we weren't planning on buying another rig on the road. We, we <laughs> went into this before, with before. no debt. We wanted to keep it, but we also had to make it work. It is yes. our home yes. and it, we had to be comfortable in it. Well, again, thank you very much to the Wendy's. Make sure you find them on Facebook. They're wheeling with the Wendy's and I think you're on Instagram now too. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you look them up and um, follow them. That's right. Um, and their adventures. Don't forget, they do have a motorcycle, so they will uh, take you on those trips as well. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. And we will see you on All the road. road. Hold on. When you step down, this whole thing just moved because it was on there. Don't make noise, lines. <gasps> Did you break something? Yes. It just pulled right out. You know why? Because it was broken when we bought it. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. No worries. Damn it. No worries. Well, and I'm going on a diet tomorrow. <laughs> it's all right. Sorry. No, that was actually broken. Bitch. So all they did was probably put longer screws oh. in. That's recorded too. <laughs> Bill is breaking their RV, so now we owe them money.
<laughs> Grand design, we need better screws. <laughs> no more sugar for Phil. He's off sugar. Damn it. Stacy would need a trampoline to get in this bed, though. Look where it's she hitting has her. A stool. I do have I a know. little step stool. All right, so this is when the pep comes up. <laughs> Don't on that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not happening. Okay, that was good. Awesome. Right. Got it all. Yeah, that okay. was great. Second, second take. That was good. Yeah, we might as well just wait. Actually, we might as well just wait. Oh, here it comes. Here, here, here it comes. comes. Okay. You're right in the middle of it. Because I can't take all that out. The sun's going down. How do we like look? Four feet. There we go. All right. All right. One. Slide out. Hi, I'm Lance. Oh, wait, I'm she starts. Oh, I'm what? starting to introduce you. you. <laughs> yeah. It's this my, my show. <laughs> He's trying to take it. <laughs> I'm following your lead. So Phil always follows my lead. I'm the So leader. I'm introducing them? <laughs> yes. So I'm going to say their names, or sure. and, and then Just, they can just say, yeah. you can do whatever you and want. It's your channel. There. Yeah. Well, it's her channel, but it's <laughs> Ten panels. <laughs> 2,000 watts. 